Now, this is the fourth review of my album review roulette, and this album will be the Eagles of Death Metal debut album, Peace, Love, Death Metal. And I know you can't see this at all, because neither can I. Let me put it here. Still can't see. Whatever. Um, Eagles of Death Metal is Josh Holmes' one of his many side projects with his friend, um, what's his first name? I know his last name is Hughes. I think it's um, John Hughes or something, Mark Hughes. Forgot. Whatever. Hughes. Um, crazy hardcore Republican, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, <clears throat> so this album is sort of his classic rock side, side project here. Borrows a lot from the Rolling Stones, from Led Zeppelin, and from all those sweaty, sexy, 60s and 70s rock bands, blues bands, what you will. Um, what the fuck did I just say? Um, anyway, uh, this album was recorded in three days. It stems off from Josh Holmes' famed Desert Sessions project. Um, and it was recorded in three days, and, you know, it shows, like... It, it's a lot of fun to listen to, and it's definitely a danceable record, but then again, it's very repetitive, there's a lot of stuff that could be trimmed off, there's a lot of ideas that could have been completed here, um, but, um, and while I would have liked for them to perfect that, and it would have created a very, very awesome record, you know, maybe if they had taken more time there, it would have lost the sense of fun and spontaneity that it has, so... Who am I to judge here? Um, <laughs> well, I guess I am judging, or else I wouldn't be doing this review. But um, Josh Holm, although he is an excellent guitarist, he's not a maestro on the drums here, but he lays down very simple drum beats. Not to say that's bad. It works for this music perfectly, but if you're expecting some like Dave Grohl-level drumming here, you're not going to get it. Um, and Mr. Hughes, which is what I'm calling him from now on, um... Although his voice isn't as gripping as Holmes, it's much it's more versatile. He can switch through many different falsettos and through his his deep sexy baritone like Kiki Carlo. Um and so in that aspect I think it's very good. Um also an excellent cover of Stuck in the Middle with You is on this album called Stuck in the Metal. Um it's really good, it's the perfect song for this. But it's not the best song on the album, which is good, because, you know, everyone knows it's annoying when the cover is the best song on the album. Um, I have to say, it's a very enjoyable album, although I would, I do enjoy their later albums, um, Death by Sexy and Heart On more, but um, it's definitely a good debut by them, something fun, something that you're not going to look too deep into or think too much about, but rather just dance to it. Um,